it's not morning. It is afternoon. It might be morning for some of you. Um, welcome. We're so glad you're here. I just realized I left the box fan on. So if you hear a whirling, pretend there's a bathroom baby down here, even though there isn't. <laughs> We are coming live to you from our new set in our new location. And before we get started, the lighting is not set. The set Sound is not set. may not even be set. I'm not really sure, um, but we wanted to come live with you all. The set is almost complete, not 100%. This back here is going to look a little bit different. And this, ha we need to sign a petition. Everyone needs to like sign the petition that the disco ball has to make it on set because Anna's trying to pull it off, right? Not cool. Not cool. It Not hurt back cool. Feelings. New studio looks great. Thank you so much. This is the sign that we had at our old studio, and it has been a pain in my rear. Let me tell you really quickly, and then we'll get started on our craft. We put I put up these two lights that are my favorite lights for lighting the studio, and my skin looked amazing. Everything was lit <laughs> up. The problem is that this is a reflective surface and it reflected the light right back. So it has been, I now have lights like in the floor shining up. On the trash can. It's, yeah, it's, it's interesting. We're going to figure it out, but we're here and we're live and we're really excited. We are going to craft today. I'm going to make a cute little ghost treat bag with you all using felt, a Ziploc bag, some hot glue, some heat transfer vinyl, some acrylic paint bin, some ribbon, so many different things. Uh, hi, love the new space. Thank you, Kathy. Thank you. Nice set. Thank you. Thank you. Um, we're liking it. We're really loving it. Let me see here. 10 a.m. in Southern California. Yes, yes. Just looking to see who all, not cool, Anna, right, Patty? I mean, personally, if I could come up with a place in my home to put a disco ball, I would do that. My, I don't have like high ceilings or anything, right. so I feel like that would be awkward. Rachel, I feel like you have prom ceilings for a disco ball. Yeah, yeah. Really go with your yeah, house. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Anyway, let's get to crafting. Uh, we are, like I said, making a cute little ghosty. I've already named, I think, everything. I am going to be using a Cricut Maker today and using my rotary blade so that I can cut felt with you all. And I am using a strong grip mat. You can also use a fabric grip mat. I don't know. I don't think this is Benzy felt. I think this is just good old cheap Hobby Lobby felt. Is this? This one feels like Cricut felt. This one feels like it might be Benzy. We're going to use this one because it's nicer. Um, if you don't know what Benzy felt is, look it up. BenzyDesigns.com. It's our favorite felt. I have gotten, I don't think I brought them, some really amazing color palettes. There's a brand new color palette they put together for fall that I think is so beautiful. And when it came in, Wayne, my husband, even mentioned how gorgeous it is. So check them out. Um, I'm puppy sitting right now. My cats aren't so sure about him. Kathy, that is so funny. I'm siding with Anna on this one. Sue, you can side all you want, but I have a feeling I'm going to get my way. That disco ball is going somewhere. <laughs> Not here. It's just going to be somewhere on it's this It's going to be somewhere. Yeah. yeah. Um, good morning. Thank you, Megan. Um, so I had court this morning for those of you who are asking. Um, it was just child support court because where our little one is a non-custodial placement, it's not in, uh, he's not in state custody. So it was a child support thing. It actually went okay. And then we have the big court hearing tomorrow. Um, so I will let you know, two days in a row in court. Whew. We made it to Indiana, yay cat. Sorry for all the squirrels. I feel like every time we go live in a different space, I'm a little jittery, which is weird because I've been doing this forever. Um, and I get really squirrely. Anyway. Let's start crafting. I'm going to go over to Cricut Design Space. Oh, mom, here's your hexes. I need to cut those out for you. I'm making mom some hexes so she can make a quilt. And then this little file, it's called Cute Ghost. It is on the website. If you're an Oak and Lamb member, you can go ahead and grab it. Why is it not uploading? Seems design space is going to be finicky today. I'm going to download the SVG version. There is PNG and SVG, SVG available. Why is this not working? I may have to X out of design space. Hold on. 
Let me see first. Are you kidding me? Give me a moment here. While this comes back up, has anybody watched the Apple? When is it? I think it started at 10. I don't know if it was Mountain or Pacific. Is it for like oh, all 10, kinds it's of now. new things? Yeah, the new phone is being announced. Are you getting it? I am getting it. I didn't get last year's. Hey, can you click off while I put the password and stuff in? Um, I didn't get last year's, so I am going to get this year's. And my mom is getting my phone. She needs an update. Did you read Sue's comment? I have not. What did Sue say? Sue said, I must say you look absolutely stunning, Becca. I'm not sure if it's the lighting, your outfit, or the color combo, but you look fabulous. Thank you so much. That is so sweet. I asked Becca, I said, do you want to do the live today since you know you look like a movie star? And then she has court again. I don't know if you mentioned that. Yeah. And I said, are you going to also look like America's Next Top Model tomorrow, or was that just for today? <laughs> So, oh my God, I can't, even, I can't believe I did it. You know, we had our first interview for our foster. Okay, so are you back on my computer? I am. Um, case in point, if Design Space is acting like it shouldn't be, restart Design Space. A lot of times it works. Um, anyway, I had a first interview with, uh, for our home study for foster care, and they said they wanted a physical description, wanted us to describe ourselves, and I looked at her straight in the face and said, Redheaded Barbie. Please tell me you didn't. I swear upon my life I did. She's really was funny. Was she in the floor She's laughing She's so at funny. You? And I was like, no, no, seriously. Okay, anyway, here is our cute little ghosty. Look how cute. And I am going to do a little bit of manipulation to this. You could keep it as is. Um, and then you just need to duplicate this back layer because we're going to be making a bag, a treat bag. So I need a front and a back to the bag. So to do that, I'm just going to ungroup here and duplicate this by selecting this layer. And I'm going to press Command D on my keyboard, which is for duplicate. You can also copy paste or you could duplicate up here in your layers panel. Now what I want to do is grab a circle. Um, I could do a circle or an oval, whichever one I want. And hold on. There we go. And I'm going to cut a circle right here and put a little see-through area so you can see that there's candy in this. It's going to be really cute. So to do that, I have my circle placed right here. I'm going to hold in shift with this layer selected and then click the next layer and that will select this layer and this one. And you can see that that is true over here. Now with both of those selected, I want to cut this out of the little ghost. I can do that by slicing or I can come up to combine and press subtract, which is my preferred method because that you can go back and undo. And maybe I want to undo that later because I want to resize the circle or place it in another spot. If I had sliced that, um, then it's not undoable unless I just press undo immediately. Okay, now what I need to do is size this little guy. So right now it is what, uh, eight and a half inches tall. That's gonna be really massive. Let's make him, I don't even know. What do we think, right? Six inches, is that good? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna select this, type in height of six, and I have everything selected so that as I size this down, it sizes the eyes, the face, everything together. So this will make it four, almost four and a half, 4.4-ish 4 .4 by almost six, which is great. Um, I'm, I don't have any pink, HTV, I can't find any, and I've got to be honest, this studio, I, it might be weeks before I can find stuff in here, even though we've organized stuff-ish. And so I can't find pink HTV, so I'm going to paint these on with acrylic paint pen. So I'm going to delete these layers, but if you have pink HTV, keep those layers so that you can put them together. And then I want all of these together. I'm going to attach them so that they cut out in, in a good placement. 
Um, and I'm ready to go ahead and click make it. I do need to select my maker three instead of just my maker since that's what I'm going to be using today. Allow that to connect and we'll go ahead and click make it. Have you ever had to click that before? I have not ever had to. Nope. Interesting. Yeah. Um, now I'm going to place this on my mat and make sure that I have enough of it before I get started. Um, I'll also go ahead and put my rotary blade in there. Let me, sorry, we've got a new table. It's a smaller table and I'm trying to navigate where I want to put things. But it's on wheels now and we're really excited about the wheels. That's going to be super handy. Okay, it looks like I have enough here. Nine by six. Okay. So I want to grab my brayer and bray this felt down. Even though it's a strong grip mat, um, it still needs to be brayed because it's well loved. Let me pull this down here a little bit because I have a hole in my felt right there. Okay, so this one is going to be cut on the felt setting, and then this one is going to be cut on heat transfer vinyl. So since it is heat transfer vinyl, I do need to mirror this, but not the other one. Let's click back to our white mat with our ghost and press continue. We'll connect to our maker. And then I'm going to go look for, oh, right here, wool fabric felt. And the default cutting method, the default tool method is the fine point blade. Do not try it. It will not work. Go to edit tools, press rotary blade and press apply. Now we're ready to load this in our machine and let it cut out. And while it cuts, I'm going to go look at comments and see who's here with us. Lots of our friends. Becca, one of my granddaughters has red hair like yours. She's a little spitfire. Rachel's husband loves to remind me that I'm a fake redhead. I'm yeah. a redhead at heart. And I do have parts of my hair that are almost this color, but most of it is brown. Um... Of course she's going to tomorrow because she's seeing me. Kat, I'm going to curl my hair and everything for you. Oh, yeah. It's totally for you, Kat. It's for you. I might have a baby wipe in the car and wipe my makeup on the way because it's a two-hour drive. And, you know. My kid said, what are we going to do in the car? I was like, the same thing I did. You're going to count cars. You're going to drive each other crazy. I think two hours is super long well, to drive. Well, that was code for mom. Can I take my Nintendo in the car? And I have to keep reminding my children that we don't go to camp to sit in the camper and play on our Nintendos. Yeah. Now, if it's raining or something, then I allow them to do that. Right. Um, or if it's super cold or whatever, but I may not even bring the Nintendos, to be honest. They may stay at home. The new studio makes Becca seem like she's selling on QVC, maybe the lighting. I do <laughs> like the lighting. Oh, I want it to be a little bit brighter, but that might be a setting on my, my camera that I haven't gotten to play with yet. Uh, but we'll see. Okay, so let's remove this. I'm going to have to go in with my little scissors and snip a little bit. Rach, when was the last time we um, changed that rotary blade? Has it been a while? It's been a while, okay. Becca. It's been a while. I should have checked to see. I mean, it cut really well, but there are some pieces that are still attached. And I should have checked. I could have just let it cut one more time. But just snip here and there. We'll be good to go. I got some new I got some new shears. I should have brought them over for this. They could have made their debut. She won't even keep them at the studio. No, the shears are here. The big ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. The Guggenheims. The Guggenheims. Oh yeah. I think the the little ones I think are in my backpack. Of course they are. They're so cute. Okay. And I am using sandwich bags for this clear part. You can use um, like little treat bags if you want to. You can also use, I, I was looking for my, uh, Rachel, what are they called? Project, uh, the transparency sheets. Mm -hmm. I can't find them. There's, they're somewhere here. I'll have to find them eventually. Um, but Rachel suggested sandwich bags, and I loved that idea. And then I was like, well, I'm going to hot glue them. Will it melt it? And she was like, oh, it'll be fine. Um, 
Just let it set for a minute. And I loved that. It was a great idea. Okay. There's that. So we have our two little ghosties, which are actually good size. I mean, you could put, put some decent candy in that. My children would be happy. Um, speaking of my children and candy and Halloween, how do you, for those of you who have children with food allergies, how do you navigate that? Like Fallon ends up getting so much chocolate and I feel bad for her because she can't have chocolate. Um, while all the other kids she's around are just like gobbling all over their f candy and that's fine. Like it's not their fault she has a food allergy, right? Um, but should I, do you think that I should give some like special candy to put in her bag to kind of compensate for the fact that she's not gonna be able to eat over half of her candy more than likely? What do you all do? Let me know. And for those of you who hand out candy, this is a friendly reminder to maybe grab some allergy friendly candies like Skittles and Smarties and Sweet Tarts and things like that. I know that it's like the most selfish thing in the world, but it's very good to be reminded of that because as someone who's like no one in my family really has allergies except for Sarah recently, and we still forget that Sarah does sometimes, it's a good reminder that lots and lots of kids do have allergies. Yeah. And Fallon is honestly so gracious about she it. She is, She Becca. really is. I would be, I wouldn't even be as gracious as Fallon I can't is. tell you how many times we get together and she can't have anything that we're eating or can't have the desserts or anything. A lot of times I, I do keep like Oreos and snacks and things like that in um, Sammy's bag for her so that when we do get in situations like that, she still has something, but yeah. that's hard. I mean, if you go to an ice cream shop and they don't have sorbet or something like that that she can have, we typically try not to do that because that's just cruel. Or we'll stop somewhere and get her something that she can't have before we go there. I've always bought candies my son can have. He has a lot of food allergies. Offer her so much money per piece per candy that she can't eat. Ooh, Megan, I like that. She loves money. She, she loves she money. money. Okay, I'm going to preheat my little mini Easy Press to the second setting and go ahead and weed off this excess, which there's quite a bit of excess. I got a little happy here. I didn't need this much at all. I'm probably going to throw this in our scrap bin and we'll never use it. Shh, don't say that, Becca. I know. Easy weeding job there. Also, our trash can is currently being used as a light stand. I need to order another one. So I have nowhere to throw that. That's okay. I'm done with my Cricut right now. That's fantastic. Um, let me go ahead and turn my little Lynn Lily glue gun on here. And I am going to put the eyes on first. Go ahead and place this right here. If you're gonna do cheeks, maybe move it up a little bit. I don't know, whatever you're feeling. But I wanna do this first because I'm gonna put heat right here and if I overlap where my sandwich bag is gonna be, I don't want it to melt. So think about that. Mini easy press, mat, my little mat there. While this is heating up, Let's look at comments. Let's talk for a few minutes. It's been a while since we've talked about our membership here because we were doing random weird lives and I didn't want to plug a membership in a weird live like that. So I'm gonna plug it right now. If you are new to the channel, welcome. First of all, we would love to give you a shout out. We're glad that you found us. We love crafting here at Oak and Lamb. I don't even know that I introduced myself. My name is Becca Oaks. I'm an owner and craft educator here at Oak and Lamb and Miss Rachel Langston is the other voice you hear who is not a Langston anymore. I've got to get over that. I'm sorry, Rachel. People still call me by my maiden name. It does not yeah. bother me. Rachel Webb is also an owner and craft educator here. We love crafting. We love our community here. Um, it's really funny. In the interview that I was doing for um, our home study, they said, describe what you do for your job. She was like, this is really, really boring. And I was like, oh, no, 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 mine is not boring. I'm excited to tell you what I do because she's a crafter too, which oh. is really fun. Yeah, so we love what we do. We love to teach crafting. We love to educate you on things like the Cricut, on things like sublimation, on woodworking, on home decor, on embroidery. 
I'm really excited to get to share that with you. I'm new to it. I finally jumped and got my machine out after I know it was over five years. But in with that, we have a subscription here at Oak and Lamb where you can access our entire li library of cut files with free commercial use license. You get access to our member only Facebook group, which is your door into the best crafting community ever. And then we do have training on things like Cricut, Cricut Joy, and are adding other courses as well. We do have member only content with that too. So grab it, use the link. Rachel, what's the code we're using right now? Right now we're still using fun. So if you want to get uh, 10 bucks off your first month, you can use fun okay. and you can use 35 off 35 OFF for $35 off our annual membership. So does it still say July 4th sale? No, I took that off the link. You are the best. <laughs> <laughs> Check it all. Okay, this is preheated, so I'm just going to go ahead and place it here on my heat transfer vinyl. This is a great little project for a first heat transfer vinyl project. If you are using your mini easy press, you just place your mini easy press on it like this, and you're looking for bubbles, and you can see them really well in a black heat transfer vinyl. Why you're looking for bubbles means that the transfer sheet has released from your heat transfer vinyl and that's perfect that looks really cute um, I'm gonna do the painting in a little bit and then I'm gonna go ahead and cut up a cute little sandwich bag here I need let's see here I'm gonna probably just cover like this we'll see how that goes These scissors could be sharper. Has Jason been after these too? Uh, yeah, he had a sixth sense that there were sharp scissors down here. I think needed I feel to be like dulled by cardboard. I feel like he did. These are terrible, Rachel. We must have cut some really bad things with them. I am including myself on that because I am just as guilty. Okay. So to glue this on. I'm going to flip this over and I am going to, like Rachel suggested, put hot glue down first on this and then let, let it set for just a second so that it's not so hot. I don't want to let it set so long that it's no longer wet, um, but just a second so it's not super hot and won't melt through. That looks pretty good. Place that on there. Okay, ow, that is still really hot. <laughs> Did it work though? It was a rookie mistake. <laughs> yeah, it's not melting through. Perfect, Rachel, good. I mean, most everybody has sandwich bags in their home. Look at that. Or saran wrap. You saran know? wrap? Somebody's now got that's that. that's thinner though. Do you think that would work? It is thinner, but I mean. I guess you just leave the hot glue longer. Yeah, probably. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is just create a little baggie right here. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't slice out a hole right here because I was going to put a hole for cutting. So I'm going to just use my little scissors and go in and do that. I'm going to go in, just poke a hole in there, and make a little hole for my ribbon. These would be really cute for a kid's classroom. Now, my kids go to a private Christian school, so they don't celebrate Halloween or anything fun like that. But uh, So I can't do that. But I'm living vicariously through those of you who can. And then I'm going to just place glue like right here. I want to have an opening on my bag so that we can get the candy in there nicely. Go all the way around like this. You could also sew this if you wanted to. Um, but I know that a lot of you all hate sewing and love no sew projects. So that's why I wanted to bring you the hot glue version. Also, if we're being honest, these bags don't have to last very long because they're probably going to get thrown away pretty quickly after they are received. RJ, acetate would have been perfect for this as well. We did not have any. It would have been. That would have been amazing though. Great question. Yeah, I decided I was going to do this project approximately 30 minutes before we went live. So we may do with what we had in the craft room. Okay, that's looking good. And then I need to prime this pink acrylic paint pen. We have no candy here, do we, Rachel? Nope, 
None at all. Who are we? I had we some have pasta candy from my desk and some bugles. Yeah. And just to paint a little cheeky on here. Little look how cute. You could have done. I could have done the eyes and mouth this way too. Adorable. And then I just have some ribbon, some festive Halloween ribbon. Um, Maka, I would probably skip it if you would want to use cardstock. The idea is to make like a window for you to see the candy through. Uh, if you're thinking of cardstock or something like that, I would just probably leave the felt intact and just feel the the ghost and not have a hole taken out of it. If you can't use something transparent, but also strong. Correct. So you're going to fill this with candy and then you're just going to put your little ribbon in here. And I have a, this is like three quarters of an inch ribbon. So I've, I, when I put it through a hole like that, I like to go ahead and cut so that the ends are pointy and we'll go through this more easily. Did you see what I used my reverse tweezers I to love get that, that. really I love easily? That. I love reverse tweezers. We don't talk about them enough. I just put it in here in the hole, open it up like this. And because they're reverse, when I let go, it does all the work for me. I don't have to hold on to it. Pull it right through like that. And then we are going to just tie this in a cute little bow. Kind of like this. Let me flatten that out a little bit. And then we'll floof our bow. Floof is a technical term, if you did not know. Sure. And Christy, you are so sweet. We will do a studio tour when it doesn't look like a train wreck in here. Does look like a train wreck. Yeah. There we go. I smeared my little cheek with my finger. She's cute though. Look, how oh, cute. I wish there were candy in there so you could really see it. I love it. That was so quick too. She's adorable. And it holds, like I said, if you wanted to just do like a couple of pieces of candy, like smaller candies, then you could make these even smaller. If you wanted to do like a huge fun, or not fun size, king size, you could make it huge. That would be fun, right? That was quick. It's 1.30. You're a quick crafter, Becca. What in the world? You're a quick crafter. Did she mean for making the actual ghost? I don't know what I was saying. So if you're correcting me, I probably meant oh, whatever you oh, think. Oh, 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 oh. You wanted to use um, thick cardstock to make the actual ghost. I don't see that being. S I, uh, maybe. I think it might work. Maybe, yeah. I think it might. Especially if you make it small, it won't because you're not going to be able to put candy in it, really. If I were going to do it with cardboard, instead of making the back the exact same like shape and size, I think I would do the back as like a box. So I have made this file. I need to put it on the, on the website for you all. It's a door hanger file. And um, the front of it is like a little 3D box and the back of it is flat that you hang on a door. And you could cut that part, like the box part off and put it on the back of this and put your candy in that if you Love wanted it. to do cardstock that way. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Starburst or Smarties would be great for inside there. They would, Micah, absolutely. Um, Ghost Grams, that's adorable. So cute. Anyway, thank you all for being here with us for our first live in the new studio. I'm so glad I got to craft with you all down here. I, I feel like it's been forever, even though it's only been like two weeks, yeah. but we've been live with you all. Yeah. Um, we are going to go ahead and jump off of here because we do need to record some videos for the rest of the week. I am going to be out of town starting tomorrow. So we Thursday will be premiering a video for you all, which basically means it doesn't basically, it does mean that it's a pre-recorded video and we'll be live in the comments with you all. So, um, we're excited to yes. test out a product that you all have requested. It's here in the studio and I can't wait to see what all it does and give you all a review on whether or not we like it. Um, but we will see you live on Thursday. <laughs>